Time for some more archaeology goodness with La Milana 2. Previously, we checked out how interns are do archaeology. And what do you know, they're still interns. We learned alternate meanings for mantras. We got a new whip, which is really important for me. And we, um... Nothing bad happened. Absolutely nothing bad happened last time. Absolutely not. Let's go check in on Phobos. Maybe he has new information. Maybe he has old information. Maybe he has some information. Maybe he's not even in. He still hasn't made it back ever since the funeral. Well, I guess there's not many items for him to hint us on anymore, so... I guess his job is complete. His duty is done. I wonder if anybody shocked up in El Sedarna's old place. It did! It's probably Giltorio. Yep, yeah, there he is. The Luca Paula want to mess with modern society. That's why they have AK-47s. They've been taking relics out of La Milana and also breaking into museums. That's not cool. That's not archaeology. I don't know what that is. That's something like Belloc did in the second movie. They're gonna tell the entire world there's nothing that they have that they can't take away. And then Lameza's gonna punch them in the face, because he's not Indiana Jones, he's Lameza. He won't take that crap. Also, I need some more weights. <laughs> Haven't seen Neber in a while. Haven't done this in a while. Yep, it's still horrifying. I wonder if Zelput has any more, uh... Ma app information. I was about to say mantra, but no. Nah, he's still on La Milana, but not La Milana 2. Give us some La Milana 2. There we go! Literata Baratouris... What are you chanting there? He's speaking seven children. Anyway, look closely at a dark wall and find a lightning mark. See what that gets you. Yep, now we have the hints for all the apps I'm missing. Except for maybe, uh... One more. One more app application, like regular use app. And I think we got the clues to all of these. I need to buy that bounce shot one of these days. I still haven't gotten around to that Ankh shield either. Or Ankh shield, yeah. Angel shield. What's the bet? Doesn't even look like Angel. Okay, what are we doing today? We're doing things on the surface today. We learned alternative meetings, which means we can now scream wishes. Haha, <laughs> he still has hair. I wanted it to explode, though. Hey, Sam Maranta, have you seen Phobos? No, he's still talking about the ruins. Safety permits. Busy, busy, busy. Is Phobos up here? No, Phobos is not up here. I wonder where Phobos went. To be honest, I haven't gone looking for him this late in the game. Maybe he's down here. In the Inferno Cavern. In the Echidna's Chamber of Inferno Cavern. There's a red in here. I'm standing in the red right now. We got a Giltorio glossary in here. But we need to scream wishes. We need to vendor some mothers. Vendor mother. Hidden mantra. Right under our noses, too. Alpha spoke of what resists extinction. The children. Barn. We got the child mantra. We don't know the alternative meaning for it yet, though, and I don't want to go back and deal with Alvis right now. It was apparently some kind of, like, dwarf. He wanted to get into Thor's family, and Thor was like, uh-uh. And he distracted him long enough to get turned into stone by the sun. Because he was a know-it-all. That's what it gets you for being a nerd. You get turned into stone. That's why I don't go outside. Well, we got that. Where are we going? We're going to Ancient Chaos. That's where we're going. Oh yeah, that one puzzle. That one puzzle that had me confused. This one down here. With the crystal skull in it. I, I broke that pot down there and it solved the puzzle. And also there's a pedestal on the other side of this thing. If for some reason you went to do that pedestal, 
it would have spawned a whole bunch of eyes up here. Like a big tablet full of eyes. They're all red. If you attacked while those eyes were out, you would get annihilated. I'm not quite sure what it had to do with that pot, though. That one still eludes me. I think it's because it's called the Wall of Silence, and we broke the silence by breaking pots. Even though whipping should be able to do that. Listen to the noise it makes. That'll wake anybody up. So, there's something we need to do in this room, because there's a chest here. Uh, uh, oh, uh, yeah, I, I, I prayed to Anu. Yeah. Pray to Anu right here. Look up. I was doing that just on accident. Well, it's a good thing I'm praying to Anu, because we're gonna have to kill him today. Also, these things are really hard to hit from below, especially with a whip. So Axe gets his first use ever in the game, killing things above me that I can't hit with a whip or a sword. So we need to open his chest. There's a tablet over there. I don't see any pedestals. Maybe we have to tablet something. Oh, we have to pray to Anu here, too. He looks like he is leaning up against something. I might as well get this out of the way, too. Alright, get out of my way. I have a whip. Don't be in the way of someone with a whip. Especially when it has a giant spiky metal ball attached to it. It's bad for you. Alright, if I remember this correctly, drop that down there. And we push on it. Maybe. Ah, this one's always a little confusing for me. I think that pedestal has something to do with it. I just saw a pedestal in that room. I bet it spawned something. Yeah, I'm gonna try this pedestal thing out first. Oh, wait, no, that just opens that. Never mind. So let's try this again. Maybe I do this. I push it up against the wall. I'm praying to Anu. H Hello. Anu praying going on here. Anu is not paying attention. <sighs> you know what? We'll get back to that. We'll get back to that praying later. I solved it in a weird way last time. I don't remember the, the real way you're supposed to get that pose. But you have to match the poses to pray to Anu. That's pretty much the entire gimmick of this place. As far as opening up Anu is, is concerned. But at least this thing right here. There's nothing here. I heard a I heard a tablet about saying, "Hey, there's some there's nothing there. Stay still for a while." I see that fireball coming at me. It made me move. I'm still waiting. Ah! Pedestal. Gimme. That opens up that chest. Now we have to worry about praying to Anu, but I want to get that chest thing first. Because it's the Ankh Jewel for this area. Yeah, I know, I have other Ankh Jewels that I could use. But I want to get THE Ankh Jewel, okay? Oh, that, that's one way to do the whip thing. That's one way to do the whip thing right there. Ankh Jewel acquired. I got two of those things. Yeah. I need to kill some guardians. That's what I need to be doing. I need to find a way to get that pose down there. How did I do this the last time? I'm trying to remember. It's only been a couple months. I mean, the game isn't that old. Ah. And once you know it, I get wombo comboed on spikes when I hit an enemy. Let's try this again. How about... We push it down here. And how about we just push it back and forth? Eh? Does Anu like this yet? Does he feel joy? Come on, man, I'm pushing. Ah, what is wrong with you? What do you want from me? He wants me to push. I'm pushing. I'm doing lots of... Maybe this. No, maybe not. Try this pushing. What kind of pushing does he want? Anu is picky. That's what he is. Ah, it's gonna drive me nuts. Don't make me look it up, okay? Look, I'm praying to Anu. Praying to Anu. You can't make me stop praying to Anu. Jeez, what? Is there like another block I need to push somewhere? Is there like a hidden one? I know there's a, an eyeball in this room, but that's for the other thing. 
Maybe there's something hidden in here. Oh, there's alien dudes in here. And pedestals? No. Man, this one's a confusing one. Because all you get is prey to Anu. Cray many. I'm gonna try a few more things out here. Now, oh, you spawned all the enemies, didn't you? Oh boy, thanks a lot. I'm gonna have to murder everything. What's that gonna get you? I gotta find a way to make this block stop moving. Like, get it up against something. Oh, these are just doing the same thing I did before. I'm pushing! I'm praying to Anu! Well, you know what? Anu's a jerk. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. You know what? I'm an idiot. I just realized what it wants from me, even though it's not explicit at the least. Not at all. It does want us to pray to Anu, and it does involve the block, and it involves pushing it. It's just that I forgot to undress for Anu. Also, I pushed a block in the wrong direction. Yes, you heard me. I had to undress for Anu. Get the block down here. Take off your gloves. And then you push on it. There we go. Nowhere does it explicitly say, hey, you should take your gloves off. That's what had me the last time. That's one of those puzzles. Can't have a La Milana without having one of those puzzles. Also, I don't want to be down in lava. You know what? I, I need to be somewhere. There's a hot spring involved. I'm gonna go to the hot spring. Preferably alive, if possible. It's gonna be difficult in this state. Especially since the uh, suit is still quite heavy. I get it. Magma plus poison. Magma plus poison kills the Lumiza. Trapdoors also kill the Lumiza. I'm gonna get there using the suit. And laser beam everything. At this rate, we're gonna be getting the Anu super late. Because I got puzzled. I got puzzled by La Milana. It puzzled me. I got legitimately puzzled, and I didn't like it. Oh, you have a sword? I have punch. Punch solves you. I need to get out down to that hot spring room, and we got a worm dude in my way. Also, pots are immune to lasers. Alright. Come on out, worm dude. I have something for you. Laser beams! I'll solve him. Oh, I, I forgot that there's a dude down here, too. Get up out of there! You're being ridiculous! Thank you. You are a little bit less ridiculous now. Alright, I'm gonna wait for him to recede and jump down real quick. Come on, go back in. Go back in, buddy. Thank you. There we go. This is where I wanted to be. Yes, I want more shots in my chamber. I think this dungeon needs to get shot. In the face. Get all my health back. And I have a nice healthy glow. It'll probably be better, better if I don't have my suit on, and I have a gun for some reason. Look at me, I'm shiny! You know what I could do with shiny? I could reload my weapon. Yeah, you get unlimited ammo for the gun, as long as you're shiny. And I think it lasts about, like, two minutes or so. Yeah, pistol! Meet my god! It's gonna go meet your god. They're gonna have a god talk. I'm imbued with the power of Pistol! The most powerful sub-weapon in the game, and you could get unlimited ammo for it. It's like cheating. It's like cheating, but uh, this worm guy's in my way. And also, I can't hit the golden thing. Which causes problems for me. Go back in. Thank you. That's your present. Enjoy bullets! Everyone enjoys bullets! This dungeon deserves bullets! I need to be up there. Ah, that's not the way to be up there. I think I can make it work. Yeah, I get it. You're a stabby skeleton. I have gun. I have solved that problem. Oh, right. I already activated all this. 
Gun! Gun! There's a tablet over there. I will read it with my gun. Just like in Texas. I'm not sure why. I got political there for a second. Anzu's hiding his form. We have to clear the spiraling light. We also have to shirt the king of the birds in the face. Like that. You have to shirt him in the face. I think that's what I just said. The t-shirt gun. Unlimited t-shirt gun ammo. It means this thing right here. We need to pedestal this. That's a trap, but it's a good trap. We had to activate that trap. Okay, am I still shiny? I'm still shiny. Also, there's gold up here. Or data, just as good as gold. It's the Anu data. Yep, that's the dude. We're killing him today. But he has a guardian. Right there. He wasn't there before. It's Anzu. He's guarding Anu. I don't have time powers. This is bad. I don't think there's a candlestick of time in this area. Yeah, he has time powers. He will time freeze you and become immune to you. So, that's not good. We need to go find a candlestick of time real quick. Which I think the closest one would be... Immortal Battlefield. With the spiral boat. A lot of my quick things involve the Immortal Battlefield. Like, fairies, easy fairies are in this area. There's an easy candlestick of time. There's, um... It's like a hub to like a lot of major areas. We got this thing going on over here. This seems important. Like, really important. But I came here for time. Alright, now I am ready for Anzu. Hopefully I still have my shiny by the time I get back there. Alright, I'm back. Um, I got the time powers now. I'm ready to fight Anzu, but I lost my gun power. Ah, I really wanted to shoot Anzu in the face. Also, I went back to the hot spring to try to get it back. Apparently there's a time limit on that. There's a cooldown. Are you gonna do something? Come on, let's fight. It's time. It's fight time now. Let's go. You know what? I bet he's not in a fighting mood until I do this. Yeah! Wakey wakey, it's time for death! Come here, get right into my whip. Now, if he didn't have the time lamp, he would cause problems with time freezing. But I disabled his time powers. He's just like in Twin Labyrinth. And now he's dead. I got my gun money back. And he has another cursed treasure for us. It happens to be... Destiny Tablet! Yep, that's the other item we need to become a Dark Star Lord. Maybe we could do that today, too. Yeah, that involves more Dark Lord Star Lord's footprints. But anyway, we're here... for an Anu! Not an Anzu! Oh, right! There's one more tablet I need to do. There's one more prayer I have to make. And it's down at the bottom of this area, actually. All the enemies respawn from my gun shenanigans. My gun catastrophe. Where is the trapdoors in this area? Actually. Okay. Did I just fall through the floor there? That was supposed to be a trapdoor. It wasn't a trapdoor. The heck? They need to pay their trapdoor bills. Yeah, I think those exist. Alright. I wanted to get down there. Oh, thank goodness. I have to kill Worm Dude because I have to... I have to fall for Anu. Yeah, I need to jump high enough so I land with a thud. We've prayed to Anu! I need to get back up there. Give me another moment here. At long last, it's Anu time! Time to bring us an Anu. The Anunnaki God is hiding out right here. Ah, I thought I could scan that. Well, I could kill it! You are looking very alien today, Anu! Very simple name, very annoying boss. And he has a really funky background, too. He's got this thing going on. And he got those things that come at you. The problem is, he likes to stay up high where you can't hit him. 
so you have to wait for him to swoop down, and you can hit him with your sword. He doesn't usually stop like that, though. That's something new. Yeah, I think if he collides with you, he will stop swooping. Come on, bring that in. Yeah. Looks like if you hit him now, he stops. He used to just commit to the swoop. I guess that's to make him easier to hit. But it made him a bit more annoying for me. He does the Star Fox thing, too. But that works on our wings, not archaeologists. There's another way to hurt this guy, too, but I like using this method. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that's to expose him to more uh, primary weapon damage. So he's not as annoying to fight when you're doing the primary weapon only run. Which is there, there is an achievement for, that's why one of the interns are doing it. Come on in! Come in for a landing! Or I'm gonna start throwing these uh, flares at you. I tried to destroy that wheel thingy with my weapon. That's not how you do it. All in all, though, this guy does some pretty good damage when he actually does collide with you. He likes swaying back and forth, changing his position. I need to get used to his new pattern because I haven't fought it before. But you can hit him with the flare smoke. See that? I want to finish him off in style, though. Stop swaying. I got a weapon for you. Cut your head off! Cut your cone head off! Are you from the planet Remulac? And that was Anu. He's actually one of the easier bosses, even though he's like number six or seven. Depends on the order you're doing them in. These next two gu few guardians you can do in pretty much any order. But Anu is obliterated. And now Lumis is gonna die in space. And welcome back to Ancient Chaos. We had a fun time here. I'm glad to be done with it. And we get scriptures! Now, in the original La Milana, that made me immune to bats, but something tells me that's not the case. It still makes us immune to bats! These scriptures have only one page, and it says, Bats suck! And I agree with those scriptures. That's my holy book. But Anu is dead now. Ah, uh, what else can we do? I think we've got a couple more minutes. Oh, we've got Hall of Malice. I don't want to do Hall of Malice. Uh, there's some items in Hall of Malice, too, that I wanted. And the Dark Star Lord's mausoleum would take too long, so we're not going to become a Dark Star Lord today with our Destiny tablet. So next time on Lama Lana 2, uh, let's go work on becoming a Star Lord, because I want to see what this Anunnaki thing's all about. I want to go to Nibiru. Good night, folks.